Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI. And this is a 48-year-old female who complains of migraine headaches for many, many years. They were worse lately, so she wanted to get another MRI. She's had MRIs in the past that describe white matter lesions, typical for migraines. And in this examination, again, she shows white matter lesions that are pretty classic, so I want to show you just a, a straightforward example of white matter lesions that may be related to migraines that would fit her clinical picture. So this is a sagittal view. This is the top front and back, the neck is down this direction, and we see in the brain here lots of little specks scattered around. And these specks are not in the gray matter, the gray matter is around the rim, they're in the white matter, which is that dark uniform part of the brain. So numerous little specks all scattered throughout the white matter, and a lot of them are peripheral, some of them are more in the middle, uh, central portion. You can see here like a cluster of them in the frontal lobe on the right hand side here. Down here is called the temporal lobe, a little one down here in the temporal lobe. Now we're going to look at the same little white matter specks on an axial image. So on the axial image we can see the eyes in the front here. We can see the right side here, left side here. And as we go up, 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 these are the frontal regions in here. So we're going to look at the frontal lobes. Typically migraine headaches cause little tiny scattered white matter lesions like this. And they're typically in the frontal lobes. They can be in the parietal and temporal lobes as well, occipital lobes, but most of them tend to be anterior and symmetric. A lot of times we have patients who have migraine headaches uh, clinically and they have an absolutely normal number of the brain or they have one or two little tiny specks. Those are difficult. Uh, but in a case like this where they have multiple specks, they're bilateral and symmetric, they're in the central and peripheral white matter, predominantly in the frontal lobes. These are the classic example of migraine headaches. And again, you can see them scattered here, these numerous specks within the white matter. Some of them brighter than others. People who have multiple sclerosis, usually they have lesions that are more central, not so peripheral, and in the frontal lobes, they're more central around these central regions here, around the corpus callosum. And people who have small vessel ischemia, as they get older, they have more uh, scattered, uh, central lesions, usually not so numerous like this. So just a straightforward case of a patient with known vascular migraines and sort of advanced white matter lesions related to that. Thank you very much.